Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the fourth grade concept of place value, specifically how we can use expanded notation to represent numbers, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So first I want to start with what we already know. Let's write a number in the standard form. You might not know that it's called the standard form, but that's just the regular way to write numbers. That's 40,271. You put one digit in each place value slot. So expanded form is what you have learned starting in first grade, and it is not the same thing as expanded notation. They both include the word expanded, but expanded form starts at the largest place value, takes that digit, so right now we have a four, and it's in the 10,000s place. So what's the value of a four in the 10,000s place? Well, four 10,000s would be 40,000. An expanded notation is going to be something different. So let's finish out this expanded form, and then I'll put the expanded notation underneath to show you how it's different. We are going to skip the zero. We're going to take this two, because we don't want to add a zero. This two is in the hundreds place, so the value of that two is 200. And then we just add the rest. We don't make it 71. I'll split up that 70, and then split up that one. So if you were to add all of these numbers, 40,000 plus 200, plus 70, plus 1, you would get 40,271. Now, where is expanded notation different? It's got the word expanded, so it's going to start the same. You're going to start with the largest digit. So in this case, the largest digit is that 4, but instead of just writing the value of that digit, instead of saying it's worth 40,000, you're going to actually multiply it by its place value location. So 4 times, and then it is going to be multiplied by 10,000 which 4 times 10,000, that's what's going to get you that 40,000, but you're just going to kind of spread it out. And then you're going to add, and the rest is going to kind of look the same. We're going to skip the zero. We're going to take our next digit, 2. We're going to multiply it by its place value location. It's in the hundreds place. So then we are going to multiply it by 100. And as you can see, 2 times 100 makes 200. So expanded notation is almost an expanded form of the expanded form. And then you've got... 70, so that's a 7. Remember the 7 right here is in the tens place. The tricky part is when you get to the last one. You don't just write plus 1. You write the digit plus its location. It's in the ones place. So you still have to do the times 1, even though we know that 1 times 1 makes 1. Now, that's the easy part. The difficult part is when we do expanded notation with decimals. So let's look at a simple decimal, 4 and 87 hundredths. If we wanted to write this in expanded form, we would just take the 4, and that's in the 1's place, so it's worth 4. We're going to need to add the value of the 8. The 8 is in the tenths place, so we're going to need to write 0 0.8, or 8 tenths. And then we're going to add the 7, which is in the hundredths place, so 0 0.07. So that's fairly easy. The expanded notation, though, remember, we're going to multiply the digit times its location, so it's 4 to the 1, but I'm actually going to repeat that. A few extra times, you can actually see it four different ways. In two of the ways, their only change is they just like seeing it with parentheses. You don't really need the parentheses with this. But let's just see what happens. The four times one is fairly simple. But the difficulty comes when we're looking at how do you write decimals. Because this eight, this eight right here, we're going to go ahead and write that eight all the way down. You can multiply 8 times 1 over 10, because that is 1 tenth, or you can multiply 8 times 0 0.1, that is also 1 tenth. So those are the different ways that you can write that decimal place value of 1 tenth, either the fraction form or the decimal form. And then the only difference with these right here is if you decide to use parentheses. Like I said, if you look at order of operations, you really don't need the parentheses. But sometimes it's written like this just to make sure every location and every section is separate from each other. So then we're just going to do the same thing with this 7. So we're going to multiply 7, and we're going to multiply it times its decimal location, 1 over 100. And then this one, we're going to 7 times its decimal notation here, 0 0.01. And then we're going to just repeat what we have up here. This is going to be 7 times 1 over 100, but let's close this out with parentheses, and then we're going to do 7 
times 0 0.01 with parentheses. They all mean the same thing.